Okay. It's whiskey day. Welcome to Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. Where every day is whiskey day. We're gonna do two whiskeys in this round. In the whiskey vault. These are both gifts from Bob Thincutter, the titan of whiskey. Daniel in the distance. You need to hold the bottle while you're doing yeah, I really do. Okay. I can't hear quite. Oh my God, did you, did you hear that in the distance? No, I can't hear any. Oh my God, you're right. It has to be Bob Thincutter. There it is. It can only be <laughs> Bob Thincutter. So these are the uh, Talnuas, but these are like the old bottlings of Talnua because that's how long it has been okay. since we were donated these yeah, bottles yeah. and Bob Thincutter gave them. And that in, in the amount of time it took us to get to this, Talnua changed their bottlings. <laughs> how did they change the bottlings? They're taller. Oh. So uh, the, um, you're talking about the I don't know if it's a permanent change and they're like coming back to this or to, but we the ones they brought to Bastards Bowl. Um, are over here somewhere. So you're talking about look, the physical design of the bottle, yeah, look, not the spirit inside the bottle. They didn't change. They're that. going more classic Irish. Oh yeah, that's the new bottle. It's a, practically a wine bottle, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have the pot still and grain whiskey. Yeah, and the continuum, which I'm actually really excited about because I love. I was thinking about this, which 80, was 86 proof. Yeah. Um, when it comes to craft, and this is the single pot still and yeah, whiskey. Yeah. Let's start with this one. Also 86 proof. Um, let's start with, oh, that's a continuum. Let's start with the blend of pot still and grain whiskey. So I, as far as I can tell, mm -hmm. they sourced grain whiskey. Okay. Now in America, grain whiskey is not called grain whiskey. It's called light whiskey. So in theory, they sourced light whiskey from somewhere and then they blended it with their year and a half old pot still Irish mm -hmm. to create a more like Budget Jameson, Bushmills, Tullamore Dew, direct budget line. Yeah. With the blend of grain and pot. And so much apple. Whoa, that is musty. Very, That's almost scotchy. Very, very apple. And also very barley forward. Yeah, it's basically you turned, if you were able to turn apple juice into a malty whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the grain is still in charge here. It's very bright and sugary and, and yeah. like fresh smelling. Yeah, very, uh, this is like the treble sweet notes. There's not a trace of like bass, thick, now there, heavy. New stuff is different than this. This is younger stuff. Mm -hmm. Younger to still well, organic. Well, like a uh, portion of this is sourced to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if they're going for like a, a Bushmills type of jam, yeah, uh, it, not, it? the not Irish thing is there's, on the nose, not a trace of vanilla. Mmm. Cinnamon vanilla bean you get on the palate. I find, I find the cinnamon. And, and is, that like a, a, is that a vanilla though? Yeah, it's like ice cream. It's like creamy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'll give it another approach here. But, but still the grain is in charge. Trace of cinnamon. Yeah. Very apple, sweet maltiness. Yeah, the graininess, sure. Like not a fault, but like when, you were, when we're doing barrel samples of young malt, it all has this really, the malt barley is really up front and really in charge still. It's relatively simple. Mm -hmm. There's not a ton of complexity. No. It's not bad, but in the same way that, you know, a nice um, entry level scotch, like a competent, been around the block a few times, but not super expensive. I'm sorry, not scotch. Irish. Been around the block a few times, not super expensive entry level. Mm -hmm. Irish is. Yeah, that would go right, right in that echelon of quality. All right, so let's talk continuum and solera casking. This is what I'm excited about because yeah, I, yeah. I see the pot still. So I was thinking the other day, I was sitting there and I was reading up on continuum, this, but I was also reading up on some other things and I realized, mm. you know what? Mm. So solera cask is when you've got, let's say for simplicity's sake, three rows of barrels. Mm. You fill the first one, a year later you fill the next ones, next year you fill the next ones. Now you got one year old, two year old, three year old whiskey. Yeah. When it comes time to bottle, you pull from the three, but you don't empty them, you pull half or yeah. a little less. And then you fill the two into the three to refill them, fill the one into the two, and then you fill the one with fresh, yeah. right? They should and have, you do that. They should have called it infinity barrel. Well, but then we wouldn't have been able to use it. 
But infinity barrel. Because here's the thing. Yeah. What I was thinking. Now these guys do it a little bit different. They have a big vat. Yeah. Uh, like a larger uh, tank. Yeah. And they pull from the tank and then dump into the tank. Mm -hmm. And so over time, the whiskey in the tank gets older and older and older. Right. But. Um, so you can say there's molecules similar, of a super super old whiskey. Yeah. So, but here's the other thing. It helps with batch consistency. Oh yeah. Because so what I was thinking was in a distillery as small as crowded barrel, yeah. that could be if you were willing to sacrifice a tank to it, a way to solve small batch variance problems. What kind of tank? Because we have that so, giant. So stainless steel would be fine. That giant freaking thing. It'd be better if it was wood, but stainless steel would be fine. Right. So what you, are we using that giant one for? Uh, it's holding. It's going to hold our new blend of light whiskey and okay. malt. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah right nice. now it's got eight barrels worth of so light whiskey. So you think we need it. another one of those? No, I think that'll be empty here pretty soon. But at some point, what you could do is say we have bourbon and we get like two or three barrels are ready. Yeah. So we dump them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But we don't bottle three barrels worth. We bottle a barrel's worth, mm -hmm. right? And then six months later, another two or three barrels are ready. Yeah. We dump those. Yeah. This is only if you're not looking for single barrel releases, right? Sure. We dump you're those in. We're consist checking for batch consistency. Consistency is the name of the game. And then we pull off that tank enough to do as many bottling runs as we need, but not all of it. Mm -hmm. And we just keep dumping ready barrels. Yeah. If they're the same barrel and the same batch and all that kind of stuff. So infinity barrel. Yeah. And we wouldn't do it for every product we ever have, but mm -hmm. it could be an interesting thing for one of the product lines. Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, I like that. So I'm, I've been waiting to notice the pot still. I am. Just a little chump. You put pot still on that, and I become very, very interested. Ooh, once again, it's got that same grain apple. But it becomes much more of like a, a, a dense musty. Yeah, or like a cooked red apple. Yeah, yeah. Stewed apples. Oh, man. It's very musty. Very dense. Gosh, oh, there's just no comparison to what a pot still does. It's Look, from a whiskey maker's perspective, it's so inefficient compared to the other ways you make stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pain in the ass, it, it, but you make less money. But the, the, the quality that comes out of it, damn, though. Mm, okay. There's All the right. palette. Yeah, yeah. Already, we jumped like two or three tiers. Yeah. Compared to this one. This is like a slightly wow. tannic uh, citrus oil. <laughs> right? This reminds me of like those yeah. oils that you put that, that people do, like the tear, you know, yeah. to like in diffusers or like on your skin. It's like if you put this by your temples, it'll calm you. There's like an effervescent mm -hmm. springiness. It's not burning. It's not hot. It's mm -hmm. not pokey. It's just lively and sparkly. And it's bready. Mm -hmm. This is like in the direction of apple pie with all the baked bread and baked pastry. And then and the baking spices added in there. Mm -hmm. You got that, that syrupy mixture, almost like a cobbler quality. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh man, I'm holding on to that one. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. That's the towel new. Uh, this one was okay, but this this I mean, and by that I mean the grain and pot yeah. still. This continuum cask, that's the towel new I fell in love with right. when we invited them to the bastard's and ball. Isn't it and it's crazy how these are the exact same proof, mm -hmm. but there's so much more. Are they the same proof? I yes, see that. this is 86, oh, and yeah. this is 80. Confirming 86. All right. This is so much more going on. Mm. More layers, more complexity, more density. It feels like there's just more potent concentration oh, yeah. of flavor. Same proof. It could be older too. I mean, well, it's got older stuff in it, yeah. right? So it's at least 18 months, but it could be older than that. I wonder if they did this, Talnua Distillery, United States of America, yeah. in order to address anyone trying to come after them for saying Irish anything on the other ones, right? right. There's no Ireland. You they talk what? all the time about Irish style. If they call it Glen Talnua, they'll get the yeah, the letter. Glen Talnua from SWA. Yeah. But they were, they're going Irish style. They're not yeah, going yeah, Scottish I style. Know. No, I know. Glen Talnua. I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> we should call. Our, we should rename our distillery Glen Crowded Barrel. <laughs> David Major. Just a question for Daniel: When you drink whiskey in a bar, do you exclusively stick to the whiskey, mm. or do you pick a good beer to accompany it? Oh, so if I am drinking whiskey, yeah, yeah. But these days, I've started to explore more other things. So tequilas, brandies, rums, say, or yeah. whiskey-based cocktails. I, I have a current favorite. I was about to say, I would be very surprised if you're doing the beer because of the bubbles. Yeah, I was not going to say. Can't do beer, carbonation. The bubbles. Can't even do soda without ice. They hurt the tum-tum. Watering it down it hurts. You got to you gotta look Actually, out for the tum-tum. it hurts tum -tum. the chest. The chest? The stomach. Not the tum-tum? It's all right here. It feels like someone set a fire inside of your chest. But it's funnier to say tum-tum. 
Yeah, it's phonetically, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what my new favorite cocktail is? You did not have the New Orleans Woody Cake Martini, because that would no. have that would have been. No, it's too desserty. Ooh, come on. No, I'm not saying I wouldn't have enjoyed it, right, but right. it wouldn't be my new. You're favorite saying cocktail. it's too desserty, and you didn't even try it. No, I know, I know the testing. He doesn't. Know. I know he manly. Doesn't know. He doesn't know. And I know what those kind of New Orleans style shit goes right. down. <laughs> so this is somebody. The confidence from which you speak. Oh yeah. Having not tried it at all. Oh like, yeah. Oh believe me, I know. You didn't have it. I know, but I know the characters involved, and I feel pretty confident about it. It's hard for me to educate you. Was it sweet? Expand your knowledge base. Yeah. Whenever with you the have. Cake <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite cocktail? Uh, a Rob Roy. Okay. It's, it's a uh, yeah, yeah. Manhattan, yeah. but you use scotch instead of rye. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But uh, I always order it as a smoky Rob Roy. Oh, you put it in is, uh, like an Isla? Yeah. All right. So instead, uh, yeah. so it's a Manhattan, yeah. but swap the rye yeah. with Lafroig. Huh. And Laphroaig, sweet vermouth, and a right. cherry. Okay. And it's actually incredible. Okay. See, I can tell you, having not had it, mm -hmm. uh, it's not. You might not like it. No, but I'm telling you right now, for sure, definitely, <laughs> yeah. it's not good. I don't need to try it. I can just know. I know the characters involved. Yeah. This is the man. The whiskey's involved. <laughs> this is the man. I know the kind of thing he likes. This swears by Smoky Coke, which is... Yes! It's, it's a fun idea. But in practice, you don't are, like it. What are we doing? Really? No, you ruined the, the you ruined the island. You ruined the coke. Just oh, okay. it's not it's not a thing. Well, then you really might not like a smoky Rob Roy. I'm, I I try it just to prove myself right. <laughs> <laughs> have Jaff thirty. I wonder if the squeeze being put on some of the white label brands by MGP deciding to have their own house brands will mm. filter out some of the distillers and blending houses. Yes, since their source is gone. Or they have to switch to another another supplier if they can find one. Both. Uh, it'll be uh, more expensive. Um, and for the companies that are operating on a razor thin budget, already you may have to call it quits or sell out. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose the people who got into it because it seemed like such an easy way to make money. What it seems like a branding exercise. We'll get the whiskey yeah. from this place. No it's big good deal. quality. Slap so yeah. label on there. Yeah. Those guys are fucked. The guys who uh, wanted to do something really cool and simply used MGP because they make good whiskey, mm -hmm. I think they all have a chance to pivot. Because there are other people that are now available now that the word is spread. Right. People are looking for sourced whiskey. Well, there's that list of people is getting longer and longer and longer. Hey, we will provide you with stuff. Yeah. No, it did. It did bring in a lot more, in, like options for sourcing. Yeah. And there's always been, you know, a handful in Kentucky to make good stuff. Gulf Coast is like ramping up. A lot up. more craft guys are showing up on that list yeah, now. Yeah. Good. Freaking good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like if this was the case two and a half years ago, I. I would have had a much better time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right. Uh, hell yeah, Tony. Definitely right. continue. Come on, yeah. the pot still. We're doing the thing. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal a words. It's so good. I bungled. <laughs> I bungled. If you steal me, steal your lover's heart. And <laughs> if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. <laughs> you bungled the bungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bungled the bungle. <laughs>